Welcome to Raw Online Teaching Program. I am Dr. Monica, your Pediatric Faculty. So, today as a part of a series of standard treatment guidelines given by the Indian Academy of Pediatrics, we are going to see a very important topic which is Acute Kidney Injury. Acute Kidney Injury, the previous word which has been used is Acute Renal Failure. But that, uh, that term has not been used nowadays because Renal failure, the term indicates the definite final event of a failed kidney. But whereas acute kidney injury is a, it's a continuation of the events that happens, starting from the mild increase in the serum creatinine uh, to the complete anuria. So it is a wide range of symptoms or signs that happens during the period. So the term is coined as acute kidney injury. So moving on to the definition of acute kidney injury. So what is acute kidney injury? By definition, it is the increase in the serum creatinine by more than 0.3 milligrams per deciliter within 48 hours. So, 48 hours within 48 hours, it has to increase this much or increase in the serum creatinine by more than or equal to 1.5 times the baseline which is known or presumed to have occurred within the last 7 days. So, within a period of 7 days, it should increase suddenly from, uh, from the baseline to more than one and a half times. So, either within 48 hours more than or equal to 0.3 milligram per deciliter or within one week time from the baseline it increases to more than or equal to 1.5 times the baseline and then the urine volume should be less than 0.5 ml per kg per hour for the 6 hours. So, this is considered as a definition for the acute kidney injury. So, AKI can occur, see mostly it occurs in a previously normal kidney, like with a normal renal function, the AKI will occur. Sometimes, no, it can occur even in a uh, pre-existing renal disease, like for example, acute on a chronic renal failure. So, AKI can occur in, the, in these two scenarios. So, this is the definition of the acute kidney injury. So, regarding the classification of the acute kidney injury, Actually, this KDIGO, that is kidney disease improved, uh, that the outcomes has given uh, global strategy outcomes. So, this has classified the acute kidney injury based upon the two parameters, that is the serum creatinine increase and the urine output. So, why this classification is important? By grading the severity, we can intervene, intervene uh, at uh, early, at the earliest possible so that we can have an improved outcome. Because if you see, Overall, in a pediatric intensive care unit, the almost the incidence is up. Likely, 30 to 40 percent of the children are uh, having this acute kidney injury, and out of which the mortality is almost 40 to 50 percent. So that's why the classification gains the importance. So coming to the classification of acute kidney injury. So based upon the severity, it has been staged to stage one, stage two, and stage three. So, based upon the two parameters that is serum creatinine and the urine output. So, in stage 1, as per the definition, when uh, it is more than or equal to 0.3 milligram per deciliter increase or 1.5 times to 1.9 times the baseline. So, when the serum creatinine levels shows this range and urine output is also less than 0.5 ml per kg per hour for 6 to 12 hours, then it is under the stage 1 level of severity. And coming to stage 2, this increased serum creatinine from the baseline will increase to more than 2 times, that is twice the normal or up to 2.9 times the normal from the baseline. And the urine output will be less than 0.5 ml per kg per hour for more than or equal to 12 hours. So, then it comes under stage 2 severity. So, stage 3 severity is thrice the baseline, three times the baseline or the serum creatinine increase will be more than or equal to 4 milligram per deciliter at any point of time and whether you have initiated the renal replacement therapy, whether the child has undergone to this stage uh, like dialysis. Uh, so, at e even uh, if the serum creatinine is only 1.5 times the baseline, but the other parameters have made the child uh, to undergo the renal replacement therapy, then that child will come under the stage 3 severity or if in patients who are less than 18 years, their decrease in the estimated GFR clearance is less than 35 ml per 1.73 meter square body surface area. So, this is also a criteria for 
was grading the severity to stage 3. So, based upon the staging, this, uh, this KDIGO classification, it helps to intervene at a right time with the right intervention so that we can have a improved outcomes because from the acute kidney injury. So, that is the idea of classifying into the severity ranges. So, moving on to the etiology. So, in general, we are broadly classifying the causes for the acute renal injury under three uh, classifications, three broad categories that is pre-renal, intrinsic renal or the renal and post-renal. So, based upon three, three broad categories, we are classifying the AKI causes that is acute kidney injury causes. So, pre-renal is most probably because of the decreased effective blood circulation, effective circulation of arterial blood. So, what happens? In general, it decreases the renal perfusion, renal perfusion thereby it decreases the glomerular filtration rate. So, this is the primary pathophysiology that is underlying this pre-renal cause. So, uh, effective circulation of the arterial blood volume that causes the renal hypoperfusion causing reduced GFR. So, that is a primary pathology behind this pre-renal. Here, if you see, there is no structural abnormality of kidneys are noted. No structural abnormality of kidneys is noted in the pre-renal cause. It is only because of the circulating effect. So, this is regarding pre-renal and if you see intrinsic renal, there is a renal damage. There is a renal parenchymal damage. So, that causes decrease in the GFR. So, this is direct, ok. So, this is a direct thing, some damage to the kidneys. Thereby, it causes reducing in the glomerular filtration rate causing acute kidney injury. So, this is the intrinsic renal. And regarding post renal, if you see, there is already urine being formed, but there is some disturbances which makes that urine not letting out of the body because of some obstructive classes. So, obstructive uropathies like posterior urethral valve or PUG obstruction, vesicoureteric junction obstruction, VUR, all these will come under obstructive uropathies, the causes for post-renal cause for or sometimes renal vein thrombosis, all this will come under the post-renal causes for the acute kidney injury. So, in general, broadly, it has been classified into pre-renal, intrinsic renal and post-renal causes. And it may be because of even ureteric obstruction, 